Hi, Chuck Etheridge here. Uh, week 9 in English 3301. Exciting stuff. I've been reading your uh, field guides and your reflections. And so far, the work that was turned in on time is pretty darn good. I've been very impressed. Um, one, that you're developing understandings of writings in your field. Um, and you're seeing some values to these assignments as well. I've been impressed with the quality of your writing, uh, with your use of formatting and things like that. Good stuff. I am wondering why Captain America has a German pistol, but we're just going to leave that one aside for the time being. Anyway, um, so week nine, we are moving into the second half of the semester. Uh, we already looked at uh, major project number two in which you write a detailed paper analyzing uh, different kinds of documents in your field. And as with, with major project one, I'm trying to do it step by step, give you a few tasks to do every week so there's no big rush at the end. So at the end, if you've done all the tasks, you should be able to pull your final project together um, without too much stress. So that's a good thing. Uh, the other thing I'm doing is I want to pay attention to um, some basic things, uh, style and other techniques about writing, things like that. So uh, we've been looking a little bit at parallelism, both at the sentence uh, formatting and even the visual level as well. I have one more reading on parallelism this week as well. And uh, we're also going to learn some uh, new media things. I want you to learn how to make a GIF. I want you to learn how to make a meme and some of those basic uh, ways that we can commu communicate electronically, uh, which may not have existed a few years ago, but there are ways in which we get the word out in the world. Um, the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to um, complete uh, what hopefully will be a high quality resume and a cover letter for jobs in your field. So we're going to take a deep dive into resume writing. Uh, and uh, for this week, we're going to uh, look a little bit at a video from a professional who uh, provides career services. And you're going to begin looking and identifying um, good, high-quality resumes in your field. Now, I realize I said this in, um, uh, in the assignment, but every field is different. Every field looks at it. Uh, organizes resumes a different way, they include different information, and it varies a great deal depending on the field, and you really need to pay attention, not, oh, this is what the template is, or this is what that is, but what is expected in your field. If you're going to get an education, you got to have degrees, so those degrees are going to be very important. If you're in a computer science, um, maybe you shouldn't say this, but the fact that you've got a degree is less important than the projects you've done or the skills that you've got. So often in computer science, um, you might see projects you've worked on, computer languages that you uh, have used, and the degrees be way down in the bottom. Um, in nursing and medicine, you're going to need certain certifications as well. Work history is very important with veterinarians. And again, I can't cover every possible career field because... Uh, you know, 25 different students in each class, uh, as many as 25 different majors. So um, we're going to begin looking at qualities of good resume writing in your field in preparation for creating a resume and a good cover letter. I'm going to talk a lot more about this a little bit later, but that's enough to get you started. Um, so far, so good. Keep the good work coming. And thank you, Captain America.